Are you currently in the process of willfully terminating your one and only guaranteed chance of existence? Is life so unbearable that you literally can't imagine plastering on one more fake smile? Do you feel like life is just the stage where the once dead simply wait to die again and you're getting impatient for that final curtain call? If you need help, then you've come to the right place. This is Joe Van Etten's Suicide Helpline. The thing I can't stress the most to you is that it will get better. It will get better right after you're done killing yourself. When it comes to suicide, it's kind of like a Reese's cup. There's really no wrong way to do it, just less effective ways. Suicide is almost always funny. I don't think anybody questions that. But in today's fast-paced world, suicide might just be that lifestyle change you've been seeking to escape your banal existence of increasing mediocrity and cycles of disappointment and shame. Personally, I think utilizing your consciousness and free will together to end them both is badass, and there's probably not a better way to make a profound statement. Now, everybody kills themselves in different ways, and everybody's tastes are different. So before you get on to making the most important choice of your life, consider who you are and the best way for you to go out with a bang. Girlfriend break up with you? Slit your wrist. That'll learn that bitch. Get bad grades in school? Carbon monoxide's a virtually painless way to go. Dad won't stop molesting you? Write his name in your blood and leave your defiled corpse in his study for him to find later. Hey, some cultures look up to people who commit suicide. In Japan, if you kill yourself, you're exalted to the ranks of ultimate badass, an honorary Shinto warrior, probably. Point being, suicide becomes a more appealing and desirable solution every single day. And if you're currently contemplating suicide, what are you waiting for? Ain't no time like the present. You don't want to waste your whole life away to look back on it and realize you could have killed yourself a long time ago. Tonight, you're going to treat yourself. You're going to max out that credit card on liquor and drugs. You're going to march home, and you're going to blow your goddamn brains out because you're a strong-willed, independent individual, and you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. Hopefully, you put it all over the wall. Pro tip. You don't want to aim the gun actually at your brain. The chance of surviving is much higher that way. And who wants that shit? What if you survive and end up changing your mind about killing yourself? Boy, would my face be red, I tell you. Probably couldn't live with the sting of failure. Anyway, what you really want to do is aim the gun of your choice toward the back of your throat with that little hanging thing. Bullet will pretty much sever your spinal cord from the rest of your body, and you won't have to deal with any of us assholes ever again. Little advice for you ladies. However many pills you're thinking about taking, you're probably going to need to double that. Far too often, women attempt to kill themselves and fail because they're simply not aiming high enough. Or jumping from high enough. Don't undershoot yourself or sell yourself short. Ain't no glass ceiling where you're going. It might be hard to believe, but in our modern world of instant gratification and shameless hedonism, suicide can have a dark side. Young kids are starting to kill themselves more and more. And while there's nothing objectively wrong with that, kids are fucking stupid and never know what the fuck they're doing. Listen up, youngins. Don't take suicide off the table completely. <coughs> Don't be ridiculous. You're a kid and you want to kill yourself? Cool. Good luck. I wish you the best in your future endeavor. Just know that if you're still in grade school, your likeness is going to be used to make other people feel bad. So if you want to avoid that, you might have to get a little creative or a little dirty. I don't want to alarm you, but you're probably going to have to pretend you killed yourself during autoerotic asphyxiation. Shit, why pretend? You got it hard enough as it is, you might as well rub one out before you rub yourself out. You deserve it.